All right, so season 15 just started. There's actually a few changes you should know about, but I'm gonna go through the patch notes, tell you guys everything new. Also, what's new in the Rocket Pass and everything, so let's get into it. All right, so here's the patch notes. I'm not gonna read everything. I'm just gonna go over the big details. All right, changes to demolition audio. This is the biggest one, I think. This is actually really, really useful. All right, to help players separate when an opponent is demolished and when a teammate goes boom, during fast-paced matches, we've added an audible ping to explosion audio when opponents demolish one of your teammates. All right, this actually happened to me the last time Coral, Coral and I played. I like kind of overcommitted and I heard a demo and I thought it was Coral, so I like I went back really quick, but it was actually Coral who demoed someone and he got like a really good pass on the net and had I stayed up there, it would have been an easy goal, but I'd already like retreated. Um, I'm gonna play an example of what they both sound like right here. All right, so you can tell it's like it's easy to tell when your teammate gets demo i think this change is a good thing um anything that kind of like takes the load off like your brain of like having to like figure out I'm like oh well he was going that way and my teammate was back there so he probably got demoed now i have to look up at the kill confirm in the right corner uh it's better if you just don't have to pay attention the game gives you the information you can just keep playing focus on playing the game i like those things the next thing they added is timestamps and chat which is like all right i don't think that's necessarily like a bad change actually i think it's a good one i just don't think it's really that big of a deal the only thing i think it really helps for is if you're if someone says like what a save when you make a good save and you don't see it and then you see it after like a goal has been scored on you're like oh what a save he's what a saving me now like it's bm but like i mean is that the biggest deal in the world i don't know it is a problem i guess a very small amount of time but it has been addressed so great job guys all right this is a good one here limited time modes and private matches i've been saying this for a while that like knockout would be really good with your friends it's not that fun to play with randoms because it's kind of wacky and it's really hard actually but like playing with your friends is like not actually that based on your rocket league talent it's more based on like a you know entirely different game and rule set and stuff like that so like with a bunch of your friends at all different like mixed ranks i think it'd be fun but it hasn't been possible. Let's see. Oh, so they added beach ball, boomer ball, demolition, drop shot, rumble. I thought that was already a thing. Maybe not. Extra special. I think that's just where an egg is bouncing around. G-Force, frenzy, gridiron. Can only be played on champions field NFL. Makes sense. Moon ball, pinball. These are just like mutated, like different mutator settings. I think this was all kind of in there already. Um, they made some changes to how the mutators work because of that. Doesn't look like they added knockout. That's that's kind of lame, man. That they should have added that because like that was like I don't that was the one I was waiting for the most. Um, I if I had to guess why they didn't do it, it would be they think like it's such a good game mode that'll get people to play the game that don't play the game when it gets rotated back in. And I don't know, man. I don't think it's I don't think it's gonna do that. I mean, they have the data though, so maybe maybe I'm wrong about that. Changes to item shop bundles. We're making changes to how we sell bundles in the item shop, okay? If you own items in a bundle that's currently in the item shop, you can now buy the bundle minus the cost of the customized items that you already have in your inventory. I mean, that just makes sense. I don't know why they didn't do this before, but you know, good job now, guys. So like if you, if there's a bundle and it's like 2000 credits and you have the one that's in there for 500, presumably it's only gonna cost 1500 credits now. So they're saving you some money. Good job, guys. New content, here we go. New arena variant, we saw that. I made a video about it, it's pretty cool. Salty Fest, it's just a reskin of Salty Shores, but it's all right, I like it. More fully customizable car bodies. Three more car bodies are now fully customizable. Both Lamborghinis and a McLaren. I mean, that's cool. I think that was already a thing in Fortnite, right? So like, if you were in Fortnite and you had these, you could already customize them a little bit more. It makes sense they'd add that to Rocket League. More of them on the way, that sounds good to anyone who owns those. Cross game car bodies. Anyone who owns the Behemoth SUV in Fortnite will now see it in the Rocket League inventory. I have no idea what this car is. I assume it's a Fortnite 
DLC. Good that you can use in Fortnite now. All right, and then a bunch of bug fixes. Let's look at the rocket pass real quick. I just want to see what's in there. You still have a few good items, so let's see. All right, rocket pass. I'm going to get the premium one. Oh, wait. All right, guys, if you're going to buy the rocket pass, please use my creator code, Sonic underscore RL, man. It helps me out a lot. I'm going to put it in. Put it in before you buy the rocket pass. All right, get premium. All right, here we go. I got the car and the wheels. This car's not too bad. It's, uh, I wonder what hitbox is. I couldn't find the information anywhere. I, I looked for it for a while. So if anyone knows, let me know down in the comments. All right, let's just look through the highlights here. This wheel's all right. Paint finish. They usually have like a few good things in here. Like usually a lot of it's filler, but I mean, that's what like every battle pass is. That's kind of lame. Oh, there's a, also like a punk rock theme. It's weird that they did the punk rock theme with Salty Fest. Like when you think of like punk rock, you think of like dive bars, cities, late nights, you know, grungy type areas, not the beach. But I mean, there's no reason you can't put them together, I guess. All right. Oh, that's cool. I mean, these wheels aren't bad. They're, you gotta remember, people like make wacky stuff. I, I get so sweaty in this game and make like slick cars. Like people wanna have like lasers and horns and everything on their car. Nothing wrong with that. You gotta make stuff for them too. This is kind of nice. I don't use Octane, but I like the checkered flag just down there. That fits really well. Good job. This is what I'm talking about. People who don't play this game this often, these are cool wheels to them. How oh, this boost is bet this like, Okay, so they've started to get some new animation type. I wonder if they hired a new animator. If so, that's good news. Cause that's kind of what they need. They need like just new stuff. Like the stuff they like make isn't necessarily bad. It's just stuff we've seen forever. That boost isn't bad though. Ooh, these wheels are nice. They kind of stick out a bit here. I don't like um, the Dominus at least when they stick out too far, but that's a cool, design like that's a usable wheel on the rle edition rocket league edition where there's like horns and bulges goal explosion all right normally the goal explosions are the saving grace of these rocket passes and since there's one at like 42 there's probably gonna be one at normally the 70 is like the good one let's see what that is when we get there this isn't bad though kind of subtle how what is it called power cord sorry my camera's in the way oh here's a free wheel Actually, I like this. It's really boring. <laughs> oh my god, but I like it. Dude, I'm good. Like, I've played this game too long to where I'm like, I'm excited about, like, the plainest wheel ever. I like these wheels, man. These aren't bad either. No, they're, like, boring one. Okay. They're good, though. Oh, what is this? Band battle? Oh, it's like a flip book. That's sick. I'm like notebook paper i like that that's cool all this boost that's all right i like this animation here that looks cool wait what's this demo disc wait psionics rocket oh okay i am old enough to remember so this is like when you had a portable cd player and you'd like open it and you'd hold the thing down to start it and you could see the disc spin up that's what it looked like Accurate. Oh, tier 70. Here we go. That's kind of cool. Oh, man. I'm curious to see what that looks like in game. I'll have to get to 70 quick. I like that. I think that looks good. All right. Let's quick look at the tournament rewards. All right. Ice. Backfire decal. Not bad. Paladin? Was there one of these last season? Who uses the Paladin? I don't get it. Line line. Those wheels ain't it. All right. Torch, basketball hoop, mallet. This, uh, polyhedral. We had polyhedral goal explosion at one point. Tip off. It's a basketball inside a wheel. Okay. Never gonna use that. I hope there's something good. I mean, this is if you're into like D and D and stuff, this stuff's hitting, man. They're cooking. This is just an exotic version of this wheel. And 
interesting. All right. I mean, more D&D stuff? It's not my style, but like someone, there's people out there this is hidden for, man. That's not bad. The animation's cool. All right, that's about it for the new season. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoy it. Peace.